How would you like to know in advance with certainty which prospects have the best chances of success in your system and which are more likely to disappoint leaving you with a thin roster and a shallow development system? It's the dream of every general manager, athletic director, scout, agent or coach to have that magic touch when it comes to talent evaluation and development. To hit the nail on the head with every draft pick or recruitment selection and have every player you make a commitment to develop into an impact player for your program or team. Player evaluation and selection decisions are the most important decisions made by your hockey club and they are critical to your team's success. Your careers and livelihoods depend on your ability to draft the right players and develop them to their full potential. What would it mean to your program, team, and career prospects if your roster was always full of players exceeding your development expectations at all age groups? What if you did not have to go through any more of those painful evaluation selection mistakes? You know, the ones that you don't know or learn about until it's too late. Unfortunately, even with the most experienced former players and hockey experts making these decisions, history is littered with early round picks that did not pan out future stars being passed over in the draft, and relative unknowns rising to the top over time to have unexpected success. Anyone who works in the field knows that achieving consistency in player evaluation and selection is a very hard job regardless of your background and knowledge of the game. A lot of the time your success depends more on who you do not select. It's one thing to have an eye for talent, but in a sea of talented prospects, how do you know which player is going to succeed and which are not? The truth is, each and every player's selection decision comes with the cold stock reality that it's a crapshoot as to whether or not the player develops into an asset that moves your team forward. Experimentation, hope, determination are simply not enough if you want to bring consistency to evaluation, selection, and development and build a winning team. Only people in organizations with a proven, repeatable system for player evaluation and development can be confident that when they make a selection decision, they have invested in an asset that has the highest possible probability of success. Now, when you get the evaluation piece right, the development piece of the puzzle becomes much easier because you are working with players who are built to fit into your culture and thrive in your organization. This is the foundation of a solid evaluation and selection system upon which winning programs and successful careers are built. Hi, my name is Andrew Party. I'm a former elite athlete and now managing director of Satorum. Now, many of you have seen the 2011 sports drama Moneyball. The premise of the movie was that the consensus way of evaluating players was incomplete, that modern statistical methods could add a valuable piece to the evaluation puzzle. This more complete picture could allow teams to produce better results with less money. As the story goes, baseball manager Billy Bean defies conventional wisdom and outsmarts his competitors by using data and analytics to identify players who could produce a certain set of desired outcomes. He builds a winning team on a shoestring budget using this approach. Well, in just a minute, I'm going to tell you exactly how we've helped our clients install proven, repeatable, moneyball-like systems that take much of the guesswork out of player evaluation and player development in elite-level hockey. We're going to teach you how to generate data and metrics that allow you to select players who are more likely to succeed and avoid players who are more likely to fail. You'll be even more impressed with how we use the data gathered in our evaluation process to design customized development programs that optimize the development path of each player. I'm also going to share with you the biggest mistakes your competitors are making right now in their player evaluation and development programs. I'm going to give you some insight into what the most successful teams are doing right now in the sphere of player evaluation and development. And I'm going to share our simple, proven, three-step system that will allow you to start optimizing your player evaluation and development programs today. Now this is the same system we've used to take a major junior client from a single NHL drafted player four years ago to 10 NHL drafted players today with a stockpile of young talent coming up to their development system. This is the same system we use to take a major junior goalie from the worst stats in the league after 10 starts to his first career shutout the week after our first training session with him to goalie of the month six weeks later. 
This is the same system used by professional athletes and world champions of all stripes for over 30 years, as well as by elite level military units like the Navy SEALs and Delta Force to select and develop talent. Our system represents an extremely important yet consistently overlooked part of the picture that you are highly likely to be missing right now. We are going to give you a competitive advantage, make your job much easier and success rates much higher. And you do not have to be a big player in the so-called advanced analytics space to start taking advantage of our easy three-step system today. You see, I've committed many years of my life to helping people understand and measure the less obvious intangible variables that predict success in an elite level athletic context. I've studied with the world's best sports psychologists, sports scientists, and experts in human motivation and behavior. I've achieved an advanced certification in the field of psychometrics or the measurement of the building blocks of human athletic performance. I've even traveled to India to live and work with a Vedic enlightened master to cover, uncover the secrets of human consciousness that can lead athletes to higher and higher levels of performance. I'm a teacher at heart, so I've taken everything I've learned over the years to create this program to help people like you. Now, it's my promise to you that what you learn in this program will place you among the top talent evaluation development experts in the world. This program is going to help you see a much larger part of the iceberg that sits under the surface of the water. This is the single biggest untapped opportunity and competitive advantage available to organizations at this time. So if you're a general manager, athletic director, assistant general manager, coach, scout, agent, looking for a proven system that allows you to consistently identify players that are highly likely to develop into impact players, you're in the right place and you're going to love what I'm about to share with you. So what is missing from the current approach to evaluation and training and what can we do to improve outcomes? Now the answer to this question is that you need a scientific system that allows you to consistently measure and evaluate a player's mental game. Now when I say mental game, I'm not talking about fluffy or vague concepts like hockey IQ or confidence. I'm talking about a proven scientific way to measure the intangible aspects of human performance psychology that determine and in fact predict future performance outcomes. I want you to take everything you think you know when you hear the term mental game and toss it in the dustbin because we're about to take this to the next level. Now I'm sure you've all heard people say things like the game is 50% mental. But because people in evaluation and training professions are used to looking only at the physical aspects of performance, strength, skill, size, diet, speed, weight training, etc., they completely ignore at least half the picture. They don't understand how to evaluate the mental aspects of performance. They underestimate the importance of a player's mental game and the role it plays in their success. And so this huge opportunity goes all but unnoticed year after year just like the part of the iceberg that hides under the water. The truth is that the variables that predict future performance in elite level hockey have at least as much to do with the intangible mental aspects of performance. Things like attentional style, grit, recovery speed, coachability, emotional intelligence, and tolerance for recovery. Sure, the physical part of the game is important, but it is only a part of the picture and a smaller part than most people think. Are you starting to get a feel for why success and talent evaluation and development is so elusive to many? Player evaluation is a veritable minefield and sadly most teams only see the mines that are not completely buried. From experience they may know where a few of the mines are buried but that knowledge takes years to develop and is still based largely on gut feel. When teams fail to consider the mental aspects of the game, they are opening themselves up to a huge list of possible evaluation errors, many of which they are not even aware of. The list of potential career limiting liabilities is a long one and it includes poor vision, distractibility from internal sources, distractibility from external sources, over analysis, under analysis, a lack of focus, perfectionism poor recovery times, emotional choking, a slow game speed processor, lack of self-discipline, prone to off-ice troubles, control freak, fear of control, over or under confidence, low compete levels, slow decision making, poor listening, confrontational style, a needy player, overly self-critical player, stubborn or uncoachable, a lack of dedication to craft over time. I could go on. 
Folks, a player can have all the talent in the world, but if they have a significant issue in one, of their ment in one aspect of their mental game, it can be enough to derail a promising career. You see, players don't succeed because of strengths. They fail because of unaddressed liabilities. The fact is, even the most gifted skater in the world will not develop into an impact player for your team unless they also possess the necessary underlying foundational mental game building blocks. A player must have talent and a mental game that allows them to develop that talent if they're going to succeed. Right now, you and most of your competitors' evaluation efforts are focused only on talent. Having evaluated thousands of people, it's been fascinating for us to learn that in fact each individual player is unique. It is critical for those of us in evaluation and development to not only understand the mental side of performance in general, but we must also understand the specific profile of strengths and weaknesses of each player before we make a financial commitment. This is critical because some parts of the mental game can be taught easily and some are much more difficult to teach. Falling into the trap of committing to a physically talented player with no understanding of or plan to develop that player's mental game is the single largest source of error in the evaluation and development space. We see this mistake over and over again and in our opinion it is a large part of what separates winning programs from losing ones. You simply have to get the evaluation and selection piece right if you're going to build a consistent winner. Let's be honest. All your coaching, training, and development efforts are going to be much less impactful if you don't have the right players in place. When we start to gain a deeper appreciation for the power of the mental game, we open up some significant development opportunities within our organizations that had previously gone unnoticed. The best way to convey the opportunity available to your team right now through proactive mental game training is to share a story about some research we conducted with the U.S. Navy SEALs. Now, in order to gain entry to the world's most elite military unit, the best of the best are recruited from all the branches of the military to come participate in something called Hell Week. For the most part, what goes on during Hell Week is classified, but think along the lines of having your hands and feet bound and being tossed into icy water from the deck of an aircraft carrier. Now, the problem the SEALs had during Hell Week was not a select out problem. They had no trouble finding people who could not meet their extremely high standards. The problem they had was getting enough people over the bar so they could keep their ranks filled with qualified soldiers. Now our group went into work with the prospects, pro prospect soldiers one week in advance of Hell Week. We put them through an elite athlete mental game training program with the goal of preparing them for what they were about to go through. After a few cycles, what the SEALs found was that the number of soldiers who were able to meet their extremely high standards increased by 30%. Now, they could not have been more pleased with this outcome. In our experience, every player in your organization right now has the ability to take their game to the next level. What impact would it have on your team if 30% of your players were able to take their game to the next level? Unfortunately, Developing athletes get very little to no quality proactive mental game training. In fact, the only time most players receive this kind of training is later in their careers when something goes seriously wrong. This is when expensive sports psychologists are brought in to try to address the issue. To be brutally honest, it comes down to this. If you have a stake in player development and you are not including a prospect's mental game into your evaluation development programs, you are doing the player, your team, and yourself a disservice and sadly you are destined to keep repeating the same mistakes. Now we've talked enough about the problems. Let's get down to business and tell you exactly how you can get a predictable, repeatable system in place that allows you to evaluate talent with consistency and select and develop high quality players starting today. Now as I mentioned earlier, this is a simple three-step system that will put you at the forefront of player evaluation and development and your team squarely on the path to building a consistent winner. Now those three steps are as follows. Step one, assessment. Step two, debrief sessions. Step three, training. Now let's unpack each of these just a little bit. Step one is psychometric assessment. Now for those of you who are not familiar, psychometric assessment tools are carefully designed questionnaires that measure an individual's abilities, attitudes, traits, etc. Our assessment toolkit was designed by one of the world's top 10 sports psychologists. 
has been used for three decades in elite level military and sports settings, including for over 20 years in the U.S. Olympic program. I have personally trained with Dr. Robert Niederfer, the creator of this tool, and I am one of a handful of people in the world who holds a master level certification in the administration and interpretation of this tool. Now all you need to generate the data required to make your job infinitely easier is a player's email address. We send each player the information they need to complete our 20 minute online survey and voila, now you have everything you need to take your team to the next level. It's that simple. Now step two are debrief sessions. So you and I, hockey's top psychometric expert, schedule a Skype or phone call where I will personally walk you through the assessment results of each prospect or player. In an evaluation or select, select, selection context, we will highlight exactly what you need to know about each player before making a decision to commit. Think of this as your talent downside insurance policy. In a development context, we go over in detail what you need to know to set each player on a path to be the best player they can be. We take all the data and results provided in step two and provide access to you and your hockey operations and development staff through our SaaS based handheld app called Touria. Here we see player profiles set up in the system from completed assessment results. If we tap on a player profile, we can see here some of the mental game building blocks we measure. For example, awareness or the ability to track multiple moving objects simultaneously. Now, I'm sure we can all agree this is a critical skill for any hockey player in any position in today's high paced game. Our research has proven there is a statistically significant relationship between a player's awareness score and their goals and assist statistics. That's right folks, you draft players who score well on this assessment scale and you know they will put up points for your team. It's that simple and that powerful. And this data does not exist anywhere else in the world. And here we have one of our dashboards that ranks a player on some of the mental game metrics that we measure. Things like game speed processing, work ethic, recovery, coachability. Now I ask you, how valuable would it be to know how a prospect scores on these kinds of metrics relative to benchmark data gathered from successful NHL or major junior players before you make a financial commitment to them? Truth is, it's a game changer for your organization and your career. Now there's a heck of a lot more that goes into our player profile discussions. These are just some simple examples of the types of insights available to you through this service. Now step three is mental game training. In our training sessions we focus in on an idea called attentional style. From, what, from the data we've gathered over the years we know how a player must pay attention to the game if they are to succeed in elite levels of hockey. Attentional errors are the single biggest mental game errors for developing athletes. Developing athletes are often subject to all manner of distractions, discipline issues, emotional swings, and they tend to get focused on things that do not lead to successful performance outcomes. Our job is to use the assessment data to identify a player's current attentional style and identify how each player's style differs from a professional player's style of attention. Then give them tools and techniques to learn to adopt an optimal style of attention. Now the ultimate, uh, sorry, the ultimate goal of our training programs is consistency. In our experience, consistency is the hardest thing for a player to master and inconsistency is the hardest thing for a coach to manage. Performing with consistency is about learning an attentional style that will allow a player to get in and stay in the zone. When in the zone, players have access to something called non-linear information processing. This means Players see and read the game better and they are much less prone to distraction and emotional choking that negatively impact performance. Friends, I can tell you from first-hand experience that there is nothing more important for athletic performance than attention. We have 30 years of data that tells us when an athlete's style of attention is the single most important determinant of performance outcomes. To be honest, it's fun to watch what happens on the ice when we empower players in this way. We often hear coaches say things like, oh my gosh, he's a completely different player. Now in summary, the three simple steps in our process are step one, assessment, step two, 
profile debrief sessions, and step three, training. Now we know at different levels, teams and people have different sets of priorities and capabilities, so we do offer flexibility in our service delivery. We have clients that simply use us as, as an evaluation screen, clients who just use our predictive evaluation data and layer that into their existing player evaluation programs, and we have clients who just use us for training and development. If you have in-house mental game development professionals, we are happy to connect with them to hand off findings and recommendations. So what we have on offer with Turia is a 360 degree player evaluation and development platform that will transform your team and your career and will help you get the results you're looking for. Right now you're probably thinking, how can I get this system into my hockey business? Well, right now I'm looking for a few more of my dream clients who want to tap into the power of the mental side of the game. I want to help you get the same massive results I've generated for my existing clients. That is why, for a limited time, I'm conducting free strategy sessions to fill my client roster. I want to work with you in a talent identification and development strategy session if you meet the following criteria. Now just like you, I'm trying to be as efficient as possible with my time, so I'm only interested in speaking with people who know that there is more to evaluating and developing talent than gut feel, weights, and nutrition. People who are serious about unlocking the power of the mental side of athletic performance and gaining a competitive, competitive advantage for their teams now, and for people who understand that an investment is required to take their evaluation and development results to the next level. Now it probably goes without saying that this program has the potential to save you thousands, hundreds of thousands, or millions of dollars depending on the level at which you are working. Now I want to empower you to build a winner. It's important to establish up front that we are a good fit because if I take you on as a client, I want to get you results quickly and build a long-term relationship that produces results well into the future. I want to be certain that I can get you results and help you help get you where you want to be in the fastest time possible. Now, our best clients are, are the ones who become huge fans of our tools and techniques and over time develop into a place where they, are, they no longer need us to help them understand and extract value from assessment results. They simply use our tools and bring the evaluation and development process 100% in-house. This is a very cost-effective way to partner with us. To be honest, there are some people I can't help, and if you fall into that category, there will be no hard feelings, I'll be happy to suggest an alternative, or help you out in any way I can. But if you're still interested, here's how the process works. We will book a time to connect via the phone for a 60-minute player evaluation and development strategy session. I want to stress you will be speaking with me personally. We will discuss your goals for your team and program and identify the specific issues that are preventing you from meeting your goals. On this call we will map out a laser focused strategy to leverage what you have in place now, combine it with our systems and take you from where you are now to where you want to be. Drafting high quality talent in a systematic and predictable way and developing these individuals into the best players they can be. Now who is the strategy session for? I'm looking to work with individuals who are general managers, athletic directors, player development personnel, coaches, scouts, agents, or players. Now the first step is to complete an application for a private strategy session. This application is necessary because I want to be sure I can help you and that you are ready, willing, and able to leverage our systems in your business. Once I receive your application, you'll be able to book a time on my calendar for the one hour telephone strategy session I mentioned. On this call, we can really get down to business and determine how to get you from A to B in the fastest time possible. At the end of the call, we'll be in a position to determine if a partnership is something that is mutually beneficial or not. Either way, you will receive a valuable one hour consultation where you receive some leading edge information that can move your team closer to your goals and make you a more knowledgeable player evaluation and development expert. It'll likely be the most valuable hour you invest in your business and career this year. Now please know that since I officially launched this platform at the MIT Sports Analytics Conference last year, there's been a tremendous response. I like to be very hands-on with my clients, so I have some limitations on my capacity to onboard new clients at this stage. 
Once I have a full roster of clients, I'll need to discontinue this offer until I have new clients up and running and have a capacity to onboard more. Now, I really prefer to work with five highly primed clients at a time who I'm 100% certain I can help. Right now, three of these spots are spoken for and I'm looking to fill the other two as possible. Sorry, as fast as possible. In the past, I've found that those who are willing to make decisions quickly are the most likely to, to get results and are the most fun and satisfying to partner with. So, if you think this is for you, go ahead and complete your application now. And uh, thank you for listening.